everyone, I hope you're having a wonderful day. My name is Jojo and welcome to my channel, Jojo's Cup of Mocha. So in today's vlog, my boyfriend and I traveled all the way from Pennsylvania to Michigan by car back in November of 2022. The reason why we were headed out to Michigan was for a friend's wedding. But before the wedding, we decided to go to the Reptarium, Brian Barczyk's Reptarium. So this is uh this is oh a first bearded goodness. dragon from Australia, plain and hot. So he's here on YouTube. I will leave a link for his channel. And Chris wanted to really see him because he has been a fan of his for quite a while now. So he wanted to go see the reptiles and meet Brian. So that's what we did. We went with a private tour, which means we were one-on-one -on -one with Brian. And he took us around the little small shop before they moved to their bigger location. And we just got to see all the cool reptiles that he keeps there and some of them if you've seen his channel you may even recognize so it was an awesome experience afterwards we didn't really have much to do so i looked on google maps and i found like this cute little park nearby river bend park and so we decided to drive to it walk through the park walk on the trails and just admire the beautiful fall foliage in michigan I don't like being on my own I could use someone to hold And I've been trying to fill the void But my bed is getting cold Cause I don't have you, I don't have us At least not anymore Yeah, that's where you sit while you wait to die <laughs> Someone's gonna come out and hi, welcome Off with your head That you had to go away Just to figure out who you are that's what happens when you get off the path and explore random paths <laughs> exactly and a river you're so extra <laughs> This is so pretty. But I don't have you, I don't have us, at least not anymore. Now I'm just waiting for love, waiting for love. Try to forget about you, mix. Well, I enjoyed the Reptarium. He enjoyed it too. He's just not giving very thought out, very uh, in depth answers. <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah. Mm hmm. It's a lot more intimidating to try to walk down it like that, though. Well, let's see you walk down it. Nope, pick it up. And your head's gone. Nope, nope, too close. There you go. <laughs> it's gone. It's a pretty big leaf though. Cool. Another trail over here. Wanna go down? 
<laughs> well, that wasn't a question. That wasn't a question, that was just a That's the bridge down there? Yeah. We're basically walking back to where we were. Huh? You want to keep walking down? Or the back? I mean, if you want, you can follow this path. I actually prefer trails like this anyway. Go. Oh. And some poop on the trail. That rhymes with tail. So, the tour that we did with Brian Barchek was a private tour. And how much did the tour cost? Uh, it's like 500 an hour. It was $500 an hour. We were there from- One hour. For one hour from 11 a.m. to 12 p.m. or maybe a little over. He was running a bit behind schedule. Chris was telling me earlier that for the amount of money that you spend for the private tour with him in particular, for the amount of time that you get really touring the place, and it's not really like a big place, it's kind of small. Um, it, it's kind of... I think it's of... fine. It's hit or miss. I mean, we wanted to meet Brian anyway, so it Chris makes sense. Chris wanted to meet Brian. Not that I didn't want to meet him too, but Chris is more into like the reptiles and the tarantulas and things like that. So I think for him it was a bit more worth it, but it was just really a lot of money for very little time. And he was saying like basically once you held like one snake, it's kind of like you held all of them. Well, I mean, I mean not exactly. Were... They have different temperaments and different personalities, but yeah, for most people who aren't really big into reptiles, you're gonna get like, mm -hmm. you might, uh, you might still enjoy holding them all, but if you're not big into reptiles, it's kind of like, yeah, you held one, snake, you snake, held enough. Snake, just holding different snakes, and there were like tegus and you know geckos and Some different you other know, monitors and stuff, monitors and things like that. But overall, you say you enjoyed yourself. It yeah, no, cool. it was still cool. Like I said, I think, I mean, it is, a, you know, it's a pretty penny to pay, but we came from, we don't live around here, it's not like we can come regularly, and uh, it's a YouTube, you know, he's on YouTube, mm -hmm. he's got a lot of followers, so it's not like you're just meeting somebody that you know works there, but they, mm -hmm. there's like a little bit of notoriety to him, because he's, he's well known it's enough. Brian yeah. Yes. <laughs> So that's the, yeah, that's the part of it that really goes into the price. It's like, it's Brian, the owner, the man himself, the one who started the whole thing, which I, I totally get. But if you're not into him or you don't know who he is and you just want to see, you know, uh, what he keeps on display, then you can just do like the general mission, you know, walk around the place or just like a tour with one of the other guys and not him for a cheaper price. And that will suffice me. Personally, um, I think it was really cool just having like more individualized attention, just kind of like one-on-one -on -one with Brian. He's really nice, you know, very knowledgeable about the reptiles and other animals that he keeps at the Reptarium. Would I personally pay $500? No. <laughs> That's just a lot of money, however. Well, the other thing is it's good for a group of up to 10 people. Yes, it's Where it's just for... two of us, so if you're splitting and you have a mm -hmm. big group, it's actually only like 50 bucks a person per hour, and you're getting the individual tour. There's nobody else there that's there to tour or see things other than, you know, there's employees working there. But um, exactly. we saw a little bit of the behind the scenes of like how they yes. make some of their YouTube videos. So that was kind of neat. Yes, uh, we might be in one of them. Yes, we might be in one of them. No, it just they just do stuff to yeah, kind of keep busy. It like a it's for content. Or like yeah, challenge and whatever. So I'm gonna link that when it comes out. So Chris needs to keep an eye on that because yeah, he's maybe. more into his channel than I am. But it was so pretty cool meeting him and everyone. They're all lovely. Um, I enjoyed holding you know the snakes and the geckos and everything like that. Very well tampered. Um, some of them are a bit more. Uh, I wouldn't say fidgety, but they like to move around a lot. Some of them are just like chill. They just kind of like stay there <laughs> in your hand. But overall, it was, it was very 
Very good. And we were here in Michigan anyways for a friend's wedding, so it's like... When are we coming well. back here? Yeah. So exactly. might as well just pay it out, do exactly. it. Exactly. Well, I'm going to be back here in the future. But if I do come back, I wouldn't go back to him. Anyway. Yeah. Mushroom. <laughs> Mushroom, yes. But Chris is more into that type of stuff than I am. But it was a fun experience. I'd recommend it either way. Right yeah, it's cool to go. I mean, just even if you're just going the general admission, um, it's neat. It's a little reptile zoo. You don't have a ton of reptile zoos. Most zoos are just kind of everything, and they might have some reptile, aren't some reptiles they, on display. But yeah, aren't they moving into another place like next door? So yeah, they're gonna move some. Uh, they're moving across the street. It's like five times bigger. Is what they told us. The, uh, the alligators that he has, they're going to get a much bigger enclosure, so that'll be kind of nice for them. Exactly, just thank you to my cameraman. Love you. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> it's nice, but mm -hmm. a little chilly. Yeah, it is. He's all bundled up. I'm just in a cardigan and a crop top. It's keeping my top half warm. If it wasn't so, like, windy be really really good anyways thank you for helping me out love yep. you <laughs> he's so distracted i really hope you guys enjoyed this mini vlog it was super duper short but you know what we were there for a wedding so there wasn't really much else going on at the time please leave a like click the bell to receive notifications and give this video a thumbs up and i will see you in the next one bye guys he's crazy as hell <laughs> look at this furry little dude Thank you.